Welcome to Modern Motoring. I'm trying something new, and instead of being a regular car review, it's gonna be more of an information-based video, and hopefully I'll make it a series, and it's aimed to help consumers in their research phase as they're looking for new cars. So, welcome to my 2004 Accord. I'm gonna try and keep things neutral here and shoot all of these videos in my own car that I put gas in and that I pay insurance on. So, first up is 13 new vehicles for 2025 under $30,000 with good fuel consumption figures. So good being eight liters per hundred kilometers or lower. These are all Canadian prices. These are all MSRP prices. There was a lot, so I'm gonna just tap into my phone here and uh, off we go. Here's how the information is gonna be presented. It's gonna be make and model and MSRP, fuel consumption in liters per hundred kilometers, size of the fuel tank, and distance you can go on a full tank. Here we go, first up is Toyota, because well, obviously Toyota. Uh, the Corolla Hybrid LE, which is the base trim, 26,990, 4.7 liters per 100 kilometers, 43 liter tank, and that can let you go up to 914 kilometers. Corolla Hybrid LE all-wheel drive, 28,490, 4.9 liters per 100 kilometers, 40 liter tank, 816 kilometers driven. So those two, are the highest ones as far as distance traveled and least for fuel consumption. Next up are a trio of Corolla hatchbacks. You have the SE at 24075, uh, SE Plus at 25973, and the Corolla hatchback SE upgrade at 27603. All use a 50 liter tank and you can go 735 kilometers between gas station visits. Uh, next up is Hyundai and you have the Elantra Essential which is 22299, 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, Elantra Preferred and Elantra Luxury, 24099 and 28299 respectively. The Essential is 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. The Preferred and Luxury are 6.9. All run off a 47 liter fuel tank. So for the Essential, 723 kilometers of distance traveled and Preferred and Luxury, 681. Uh, also from Hyundai is the venue. So you have the Essential at 21099, Preferred at 23099, and the Ultimate at 25599. All get 7.5 liters per hundred kilometers, so a little closer to the eight liter threshold I have. All use a 45 liter fuel tank, and it's about 600 kilometers between gas station visits. Last up from Hyundai is the Kona. So you have the Essential front wheel drive at 26249, and the Preferred front wheel drive at 28749. Both get 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers, uh, 47 liter tank, and about 618 kilometers between gas station visits. Good old Mazda. So we have the Mazda 3 sedan GX at 24,900, and the Mazda 3 sedan GS at 27,500. Both get 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Both use a 50 liter tank, and it's 666 kilometers between gas station visits. Let's add the hatchback in there. Same thing, GX. 25650 and the GS28250, 7.6 liters per hundred kilometers, so 0.1 more than the sedan. Uh, again, a 50 liter tank, so you can go about 657 kilometers between um, gas station visits. So very close here between the Mazda 3 sedan and the Mazda 3 hatchback. Uh, let's jump to Kia. We have two vehicles from them. First one is the Seltos LX front wheel drive, coming in at 25545, 7.6 liters per hundred kilometers. 50 liter tank and 657 kilometers and the all new K4, which replaced the Forte. And I just did a video on that. So you have three trims here that you can run with the K4 LX, which is the base, uh, 23,995. You have the EX up next, 26,495 and the EX plus coming in at 27,995, seven liters even uh, per hundred kilometers for the LX, 7.3 for the EX and EX plus. On a 47 liter tank, it's around 671 kilometers for the LX base trim with the seven liters per hundred kilometers and about 650-ish for the uh, EX and EX Plus. Next up is Buick and we have the Invista, two trims. You get the preferred 28,399 and the Invista Sport Touring, very close to the 30,000 mark at 29,599. Both get 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers, a 50 liter tank, so you can go about 632 kilometers between gas station visits. Uh, let's jump to Chevrolet, which is still in the Buick slash GM family. The Trailblazer LS front wheel drive, 26,899, and the Trailblazer LT front wheel drive, 
28699. Both get 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, 50 liter tank, so 641 kilometers driven. Let's jump to Honda with one offering here, and it is the Civic Sedan LX. 27,540, and that gets you 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. A 46.9 liter fuel tank means you can go 700 kilometers between gas station visits. Jumping up to the end of the list, we have Nissan, and we have a trio from them. First up is the Sentra. So a couple of different numbers here. So there's the Sentra S, which is the base, 24,573, 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers. And you have the Sentra SV, which is a step up from the S, 26048. And both of those get 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers. And that gets you about 712 kilometers driven between gas station visits. And there's the Sentra SR, which is 29048, almost at that 30,000 point again. And that bumps up to 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers. And your total distance driven is 681 kilometers. Second up is the Versa. You have the Versa S at 2498, as in $20,498. Uh, Versa SV 22198. And finally, the Versa SR at 23598. All three get 6.8 liters per 100 kilometers for consumption. A 41 liter fuel tank, which is a little on the smaller side, uh, smallest one out of the entire list here. And it's 602 kilometers. Driven. Finally, to wrap things up is the all-new Nissan Kicks. You have the Kicks S front-wheel drive, 27199. You have the Kicks SV front-wheel drive, uh, 28749. Both of those get 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers. Total distance driven on a 45-liter fuel tank, 608 kilometers. And then there is the Kicks S all-wheel drive, 29199 at 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers, and that means you can go 584 kilometers. So there's your list for 2025 model year vehicles under 30,000 Canadian MSRP and better than 8.0 liters per 100 kilometers on the fuel consumption side. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see next or in an upcoming video that's not a car review, but still deals with the automotive industry and would help some consumers in their research process. Please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.